had a nice little chat today with Carlos Ramirez, the CEO of Blue Box Insurance. We talked about the difference between IESS, private insurance. We answered a lot of questions, the questions that came from you guys. And as soon as I return, I'm going to show you the interview. Be right back. Hey. Oh, Rocket Chick. Hello there. So I'm sitting here in Blue Box Insurance here in Monta, Ecuador. Is it Monta or is it Manta? <laughs> Manta. It's Manta? <laughs> because I've heard some people say Manta, some people say Manta, and I've been corrected on both. So anyway, <laughs> I'm here in, at Blue Box Insurance with Carlos Ramirez. You are the proprietor of this agency here. Do you call yourself a broker or what, what, what do you call yourself? Well, in Ecuador, normally, uh, don't we say broker? Okay. Broker. I am a broker, you know, but it's an insurance agency. Blue Box is an insurance agency. We mm -hmm. help with all kind of insurance to people. Okay. So, uh, earlier in the week, I did an interview with Dr. Gladys Garcia, as you know. A lot of people sent me questions before the interview that I used for the interview. And I'd say probably a third of the questions were all related to insurance. Insurance and health care insurance with health care so forth everything related insurance and health care so i told dr garcia that i'm going to save the insurance questions for you everybody in monta knows who you are everybody when i've heard of blue box insurance since the day i came here a year ago and we've all heard and plus we see your name on facebook so uh, you're well known that's why i wanted to interview you because you're not a stranger to this business so I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> my pleasure yeah. to answer all your questions. Okay. Uh, I am here to do and All that. these questions are from my viewers and, and they, they all just want to know. So yeah. I'm going to get started. Uh, you have in your, on your desk here the first questionnaire that I sent you that I got in my email. So we'll start with those, okay? Sounds great. All right. So Sounds great. the first question, Hello, Carlos. We have visited Ecuador on multiple occasions. We're very impressed with the quality of the medical system infrastructure. We envision ourselves paying for medical visits and prescriptions out of pocket. However, we'd like a catastrophic coverage plan, and there they put in parentheses CCP. Mm -hmm. So, in the future, from, from now on, when I say CCP, we're talking about catastrophic coverage. Uh, plan, okay? Mm -hmm. So the first question that, that this person, I don't know, is this a person? Who is this person? I don't even see who this came from. Oh, Pedro, my friend Pedro. This is Pedro Blanco. He's a good, good viewer. Number one, do you sell catastrophic coverage plans where, where insurance only kicks in if something severe, such as a broken hip, stroke, or heart attack occurs and requires hospitalization? Okay, done. Well, we offer a catastrophic insurance, like your subscribers say. We call it major medical plan. And we have different uh, insurance companies in Ecuador that offer catastrophic or major medical plans. You know, it's like your, like your subscribers say, it's for major expenses. If something happens and you need to invest a lot of money. We offer different levels of deductibles, but we start from $5,000 deductible and coverage normally half million dollars. From there, from 5,000, we can go to 10,000, 15,000 or 20,000 deductibles. Mm -hmm. Same coverage, 500,000, but with those levels of deductibles and are available in Ecuador, Don. Okay, all right. Uh, second question was, do your CCPs allow for emergency admission and coverage in any local hospital or does it need to be in a specific network? Okay, well, the the companies, normally the Ecuadorian companies, will give you directly service, directly coverage in the network. But all time will be an option, be covered out of the network. What will be the difference? If you are in the network, the hospital or the clinic will report the medical expenses directly to the insurance company. And if okay. you are out of the network, then you will need to pay from your pocket the total amount of the medical service and then your insurance agent will help you to send a reimbursement requirement to the insurance company. Okay, you know, so now this question is not from Pedro, but it's from me. 
network, out of network, that's with private insurance, or what about IESS? Does that does IESS is that considered an in network or out of network coverage? Okay, okay, Don. IESS works definitely different to the private health insurance. The IESS will cover you in the IESS hospitals, in the public hospitals. Then, if they refer you for, for some reason, for example, if you had an emergency and they can't assist you in the IESS hospital, they will refer you to another hospital. But you need first got the pre-authorization from IESS. Okay. Because if you have only IESS and you go to a clinic and then you will try to get a reimbursement, it's impossible. You know, okay. the IESS never will accept to reimburse you money if they previously not authorized you to go to other place. Okay. That's how the IESS then. Okay. With IESS, you will need to go to the IESS hospital first. Okay. If they refer you to other place, you can do it. Okay. We're going to have a lot more questions about IESS. <laughs> it will we'll be my so, pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, number three question from Pedro. Do your CCPs require a policyholder who has spent a few days in the hospital to pay the amount over the deductible out of pocket and submit the paperwork for reimbursement. I think you've already answered that. Yeah. Uh, that with private insurance, you, let me make sure I understand this. With private insurance and you're in a network hospital, you don't have to pay anything out of pocket to get out of the hospital, right? Only that, the deductible. Only the deductible, okay, all right, that's understandable, all right. So, number four, we understand there is an important proof of health coverage requirement during the immigration process. How soon can this be adjusted to a CCP catastrophic coverage plan? Do you understand the question? I don't understand the question. Well, probably is is Pedro. No, probably Pedro are trying to ask uh, about when he needs to start the paperwork or to start the insurance. Mm -hmm. If we consider the requirement, the legal requirement that you will need to got your cedula, for example, done. Mm -hmm. I, I am not sure if I am understanding correctly, but well, you will need proof of insurance for the cedula purposes. You okay. know, then you can talk with your facilitator, with your lawyer, when is your appointment for your sure. cedula at the minister or at cancilleria. And then you can start your insurance a few days before, if you prefer, you know, because okay. normally the, the, the time that we need to prepare a, a private insurance comp contract can be around five working days, okay. you know. That, that's what you need to consider, five so, working days. So are people required to show proof of insurance to get into the country, do you know? To, to go to be able out? To get into Ecuador? Okay. okay, well, I know that the law determines that immigration uh, can ask you to, for proof of insurance, sure. you know? But we have almost 2,000 clients and, and the immigration office never requests that at the airport, yeah. you know? I but know that when I, once I applied for my visa and I got my visa, and then in order to get my cedula, I had to go buy a temporary insurance policy uh -huh. of 90 day, 90 day, yeah, 90 day, three months policy. It cost me $45 a month, and unfortunately it wasn't from here. It was, it was from one down the street, but I didn't know about Blue Box at the time, so yeah. I'm innocent, okay? <laughs> that, that kind of plans don't are available. When people say, okay, I need only an insurance to supply my requirement, my legal requirement, yes. this insurance is available. Yeah. The $45 insurance that will uh, be useful for the paperwork and for three months. Okay. And then it's automatically canceled. We have that option available too, you know, it depends so, what the client are looking for. Okay, so do they have to pay that all up front, or do you pay actually forty-five dollars a month? No, forty-five up front. Mm -hmm. You got your certificate. You got your contract. It's for paperwork purposes, sure. and then you not will need to pay anymore. In three months, this is cancelled okay. and works only for uh, uh, paperwork. Right. Okay. Know? Okay. Good. I understand. So, uh, in regards to CCPs, what is the highest deductible available? Well, in my experience, 20,000. 20,000. But yeah. also, Don, let me tell you a, a very important thing. Uh, sometimes uh, expats comes with the idea uh, from United States with higher amounts of, of, of prices, you know, yeah. medical services. A broken arm in United States can be easily 20,000. Yeah. Here, no. The medical expenses 
the cost is lower, you know, a, a broken arm can be 1,500, kidney stone emergency 2,000. Then a $20,000 deductible here in Ecuador, probably you never will use the, yeah. the insurance, you know. <laughs> That's important to consider. How much yeah. is the cost of medical services in Ecuador to determine which option is the best for me, you know. Sure. 5,000 is a reasonable deductible, but 20 is, in my opinion, too high. That's too, too high. high, yeah. You never use your insurance. Never will use it. Yeah, because you know? I mean, health care is a lot more affordable here. Of course. I was told when I first came here to not say cheap anymore. Yeah. No more cheap. <laughs> affordable. Okay? Affordable, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that makes perfect sense, you know, because, I mean, my deductible is $5,000, you know, and the way I look at it, if I have the money in the bank, then I don't really have anything to worry about. Five thousand is very reasonable, mm -hmm. and five thousand is going to cover an awful lot of health coverage here. It's going to cover. It's going to cover a lot of health care here. It's, we're not in the United States where it costs yeah. five thousand dollars to see your damn doctor. You know, it's like it's ridiculous. But but, but something done. Something that people can do when has a major medical plan mm -hmm. is got a supplementary a smaller plan. A affordable plan, yeah. no cheaper. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but for example, a six thousand dollars plan can cost you thirty nine dollars per month, forty dollars per month, yeah. and you can combine. Then the smaller plan will pay for doctor appointments, for small emergencies, for medicines, for mm -hmm. tests. Mm -hmm. And if something bigger happens, you have the major medical plan here. Yeah. You know, yeah. combining will be more useful. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number six, uh, what's the, let me make sure I understand this, what's the reconciliation or investigation process to check on pre-existing conditions? Oh, I understand this. For example, if someone had a history of X, let's say like they have a history of high blood pressure, mm -hmm. but now no longer suffers from it, does this need to be included and will it impact premium pricing? You understand that question? Yeah. Well. Let me start saying that the premium normally in health insurance in Ecuador will depend on your age, okay? okay? But one of the most important documents to subscribe, in my experience, 10 years working in insurance, is the pre-existing condition form. Why? And the question say, well, what I need to consider pre-existing condition? If you have an emergency done and you go to the emergency room, you will explain all your previous conditions to the doctor, you know, and the doctor will create a clinic history. Mm -hmm. This will use, you will use the clinic history to send a claim, you know. The pre-existing condition form, the beginning of your contract, need be the same information. If something is different, the company will tell you, you never inform me about that, that condition and I can refuse the coverage, mm -hmm. you know. In my experience, in my opinion, try to include everything. If you broke an arm, if you had a, a surgery 10 years before, many times the company will tell you, I not will include this under the pre-existing condition waiting period, you know? Yeah. But it's info important, report everything. Absolutely, everything. Yeah. That's my recommendation. All right, so the last question from Pedro is, perhaps a better question is, are you able to share a publication or a list of what Blue Box and other Ecuadorian insurers consider pre-existing. Does anything like that well, exist anymore? Well, pre-existing. If we consider what the law say, you know, here is the law. Mm -hmm. The law determines that pre-existing conditions is everything that was already diagnosticated with you. Okay. You know, surgeries also, permanent medications, or illness already diagnosticated. If you are taking medicines, you need report. If you had surgeries, you need report. Yeah. And if you know already illness that was diagnosticated before, you will need to report. Of course, for example, a cough not will be a pre-existing condition right. because can comes and go, comes True. and go, you know. But illness, permanent medications, surgeries will be considered a pre-existing mm. condition. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you report to your broker that you're taking blood pressure medicine, that's a good indication that you got high blood pressure, and that's a pre-existing condition that's mm -hmm. not hard to, yeah. or not easy to hide. Yeah. So it makes perfect sense. So in other words, just be honest about and, it. And, and, so. it's, and it's important to also report the preconditions because after the waiting period will be covered. Like you say, my, my sure. high blood pressure medicine. If I report to my contract in one year or two years, depending which plan you choose, will be covered. Then yeah. the company needs to know what they will cover after the waiting period. Okay, Johnny Kuhn 
Is there a waiting period for pre-existing conditions such as hypertension or high cholesterol? Are the plans they offer good for long-term insurance? This is an important topic and we will all need medical care at some point. Thanks for doing this. So uh, we kind of touched on that earlier. Uh, is there a waiting period? And so like for, I can kind of help you here with this. I, I can use myself as an example. My pre-existing condition was high blood pressure. I signed up with a private plan. I won't say who <laughs> said, but I signed up with a private plan and I have to wait two years mm -hmm. before I can be treated for anything that's related mm -hmm. to me having high blood pressure. And I thought about, well, what if I just don't report that? And then that just wouldn't be smart because anything could happen and they can find out that I had. Mm -hmm. It's probably pretty easy to diagnose pre-existing conditions, mm -hmm. I would think. So does that sound pretty accurate uh, You know, as, as far as answering her question? You know, okay. is there a waiting period? I, I'd say there is, right? Well, the, like the, mine is 24 months. <laughs> the pre-existing condition waiting period, here's the law again. Mm -hmm. What the law, we, we need to remember what the law say, because sometimes I hear that people offer you coverage uh, for a, an amount that not true, for less time that sometimes not true. But what the law determines? First, the pre-existing condition waiting period will be maximum 24 months, okay. two years, maximum. A company can tell you more time than that, you know? But some companies offer coverage before, mm -hmm. like an option that we have in our, in our broker, call it Vida Buena. They will cover you after one year, up to a specific amount, and after two years, what the law determines. Now, this is really important. What the law determines about coverage, pre-existing mm -hmm. condition coverage. You already have a major medical plan done, yeah. coverage up to 500,000, okay? Mm -hmm. But the pre-existing conditions will be covered only up to 20 Ecuadorian basic salaries. Right. That is around 8,500, you know? Mm -hmm. That's really important for everybody because sure. no matter how much is the maximum coverage of my policy, the maximum coverage by the law will be 8,500 now considering our or Ecuadorian basic salary. Mm -hmm. If the Ecuadorian basic salary increase, of course the coverage will increase too, you know? Okay. But Understood. that's important to remember, sir. Okay, all right, good. That's a good point. F free beer and hot dogs, that's the guy. <laughs> free beer and hot dogs wrote, he said, I would like to see a comparison of IESS versus private insurance costs for a husband and wife. Also, can he, talking about you, Explain the process of getting medical insurance in place while we are working on our two-year temporary visas in place while still in the USA prior to our arrival. So can they buy insurance before they come here? I mean, can they buy insurance from you? Yes, of course, or we can, we can do that. Here? Normally, well, from, from our clients, probably from 100%, probably 30 or 40% start the process from outside of Ecuador. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they like to start the waiting periods. Sure. And when they come here, the waiting period is done. You know, then you can start the, the policy okay. wherever you are, because we can do everything, all the process by email. You know, by email. That makes perfect sense. So the message is, if you're living in the States and you're planning to come here and you know you're going to come here, you've already started the process of applying for your visa, go ahead and buy your insurance. Mm -hmm. Because now you can, the, the waiting period starts when you buy your, when you sign up for your policy. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And, and, and a, a good option, for example, remember, waiting periods uh, in, in all the plans. 24 hours for emergencies, one month for doctor appointments. Then can be a good idea to start one month before, you know, sure. and when you come, if you feel some sick, you can go to see a doctor, you know. If you come here and you slip and fall at the airport and break a hip, you're covered if you started your coverage back before you came. That's exactly. a great plan. And, and also hospitalizations. If you need to stay in a hospital for any reason, the waiting period is three months, you know. Mm -hmm. You can try to start the, the, the insurance and then, like you say, the waiting period will be done when you arrive here. You right. know, and it's, it's not a good like, option. It's not like buying insurance in and, the United and, and States. And fee, fee, uh, 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 part of the question is about ISS. I don't know. Yeah. I can explain a little bit about that. Okay. Yeah. Sure. She, uh, she or he say a comparison about ISS versus private insurance. Yeah. 
ISS is more affordable in cost, you know, because will cost you, if I am correct, around $74. ISS also, remember, never works with insurance agents. You know, they work only with the client. We can't represent to somebody with ISS. But I know yeah, what, okay. how works the ISS and everything. Now, ISS normally will cost around $74 per month. Private insurance will be more, more, more expensive depending what kind of plan you choose or what kind of plan you are looking for. If you are looking for a basic plan like $6,000 or $12,000 will cost you $39, $49 is less expensive to ISS, but the coverage is $6,000 and $12,000. You know, uh, the coverage, the yeah. coverage, Got it. ISS not has a limit in coverage, okay. you know, yeah, not has deductibles, not has copays, ISS. But what's the problem in, in ISS, in my opinion, doctor appointments to see a specialist, for example, you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, give a uh, good service for small emergencies, you know, that's the reason why many people, many of our clients that have ISS decide to go to a smaller plan that will work a like a supplementary, plan. yeah, supplementary okay. plan. Then the problem with doctor appointments will be solved for the insurance company because you can use doctor appointments from the private insurance. Got it. If you have an emergency, you can go to a clinic up to the amount of coverage. When you see that the coverage is near to the limit, you can request to the doctor to refer you to IESS and you will go to ISS to continue the treatment. You not will need to wait for tests, for go to see a doctor again, you know. Mm -hmm. You will continue the treatment with ISS. It's a really good idea combined private okay. with ISS, you yeah, know. That's a great comparison. That's mm -hmm. that's good. Jay Abelgard, this is this is from these are new questions that were in the comment section on my video that I did with Dr. Garcia. Uh, she said, thanks millions, Don. As usual, does Blue Box do global health insurance? Global health insurance, yes. Well, first, Blue Box offer Don 23 kind of insurance. Oh my Inigo. God, yeah. you 23. Know? <laughs> 23 kind okay. of insurance. <laughs> we, we offer travel, we offer health, homeowners, renters, transportation insurance, uh, any, uh, 23 kind of insurance. Now, what about the global health insurance? Of mm -hmm. course, we offer with companies like Boomi, like Pan American Life, like Best Doctors, are worldwide coverage, normally from $1 million to uh, illimited coverage, you know, mm -hmm. but of course the premium, the monthly premium will be higher, you sure. know, depending on your age. Remember, if uh, uh, that will be uh, the most is important. important. Age, age is, is important, important. Yeah. because if you has 60 years old and you like a, a worldwide coverage, five million dollars coverage, your premium will be easily around eight hundred dollars per month. Per month, you know? wow, yeah. of course. If you are, that's what you are looking for you can use the coverage because that kind of coverage, the global health insurance not has restrictions about the time that you will be out of Ecuador. Okay. Other, other companies like Confiamed, like BMI, offer you coverage 30 days per trip, you know, but the global health insurance is a little more expensive worldwide coverage. You can go to got a treatment in any place in the world, but are more expensive. Okay. It's available too. Okay. So good. You just answered the next question about the traveler's insurance. I heard you say it there. Nancy Trevino wanted to know, I would like to know about pre-existing conditions also, we may have already answered this. Between us, we have diabetes, HBP, I don't know what that is, and herniated disc problems. With the IESS in trouble, we are concerned about care with private insurance. Well, in the first place, can you touch on this idea that IESS is in trouble? I hear this often. IESS is in trouble. What's oh. the scoop on that? In 25 words or less. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I know that's a big topic. I'm, maybe I should have saved that for last, too. <laughs> ISS will contact me after <laughs> answering that yeah. question, you yeah. know. Okay, wh what I can tell you. First, ISS done is the insurance that all the Ecuadorian workers have. Mm -hmm. You know, then, uh, in my opinion, ISS can be one of the strong and most important insurance companies in Ecuador. But what happens? Bad administrations, politics, you know, they never do uh, things correctly. Yeah. You know, and that's what 
broke ISS. You know, ISS, in my opinion, can give you a good service, but like I told you before, it's, it's difficult to deal with doctor appointments, no medicines, for example, yeah, no medicines. Yeah. If you go to the emergency room easily, you will meet 100 persons there, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but for major treatments or for complicated uh, pre-existing conditions can be a good idea have the ISS. Right. Why? Because ISS will work good for expensive treatments, mm -hmm. for expensive mm -hmm. surgeries, you know. But my recommendation again is works with ISS because they will cover you in expensive treatments like the, the, the your yeah. subscribers say. Back, back problems, you know, can be expensive. Mm -hmm. Surgeries can be expensive. But also got a supplementary smaller plan. Yeah. Then the, the, the problems with ISS will be solved, you know. Okay. But that's what I can tell you about ISS. Okay, yeah. okay that's a good answer. Uh, that's, that's a lot of people ask about ISS. You hear good and bad, you know. Yeah. Ever, I, I've been I, hearing it ever since I've been I here. I can tell you one personal experience about ISS, if you agree. Sure, you know? go ahead. My father has a private insurance contract, $10,000, and ISS. Five years ago, he needs three heart surgeries oh. and, and a pacemaker. We started the treatment under the private because it was difficult going the, the ISS for an emergency. It was an emergency. We started in Cuenca a treatment in the private insurance, uh, in the private clinic. Mm -hmm. When we see that we was in $9,000 coverage, we request to the doctor to refer my father to ISS. The IESS continued the treatment, made two more sur surgeries, a pacemaker, and my father is probably looks better than me. <laughs> but I am telling you that experience. You know, if, if I uh, remember correctly, all the treatment was around 70,000. Yeah. You know, how much we paid, the, the, the copay and deductible for my private policy, and nothing more. Mm -hmm. You know? That, that's an example that what can happen if you had ISS and a private yeah. insurance. You know what that probably would have cost in the United States? That probably would have been over a million dollars. Oh my goodness, yeah. 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 I don't know why the United States is so much expensive well, in medical. It's profit. They so, use different yeah. things, different so, stuff. Yeah, I know. It's, it's all about profit. It's a big med medical care in the United States is a huge profit center. Oh my know. goodness. And I'll probably get beat up for saying that. <laughs> I'm sure the haters are going to come in on my comment section and say how wrong I am about that, but I can't help but think that it's all about profit in the United States. But anyway, that's a whole other video. So, so do you? There's one of the questions that I got from one of my viewers, Glenn Noel. Uh, he he wanted to ask Dr. Garcia this. He has keratoconus, and therefore uses scleral lenses, so it's an eye condition. Are these lenses also available in Ecuador? That was a question for her. And are the costs of these lenses covered by IESS? Do you know what we're talking about here? So in other words, he's, apparently he has to have a special lens for his eyes. Uh, this has something to do with glaucoma, I believe. Yeah. And I wasn't sure if this would be a good question for you or just leave it with the doctor. But do you think stuff like that, like glaucoma treatment, can that be covered by IESS or are you better off to go with a private? Well, glaucoma, surgeries, any kind of, of diagnostic on the eyes mm -hmm. will be covered. Okay. But lens, for example, if you need uh, or if you decide to use different kind of lens or the permanent lens mm -hmm. that you use, it, th that's a different topic. There's this yeah. different stuff, you know, sure. not part of the surgery or the treatment. It's like your decision, you know, if that's the case, this is element, this yeah. stuff not covered, the lens not covered, but if you need a, a surgery, a nice nice surgery, if you have glaucoma, will be covered mm -hmm. by IESS and also under the private mm -hmm. insurance, you know. Mm -hmm. Cataracts can be covered too, you know, but the lens, no. Okay. Uh, Futerito Expat asks, is there a sleep clinic in Monta for diagnosis of OSA, obstructive sleep apnea? Sleep apnea. Uh, for treatment of OSA, are ResMed, AutoSet, CPAP machines and supplies available? That was the question for Dr. But what he wanted to know is diagnosis and treatment of obstructive sleep apnea covered by IESS? IESS, I know that can give coverage, but sleep apnea, 
or problems to sleep, you know, mental illness too, mm -hmm. not are covered for the private insurance. Okay. Now, where is the best place to go treatment? Uh, I had one of my clients recently from here, from Manta. Uh, she has that kind of problem and she went in Quito. In Quito uh, are very good okay. doctors and equipment to diagnose. Yeah. Dr. Garcia said the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Keith asks, with private insurance, do the hospitals where she is able to practice have private rooms for stays? I think, yeah, I'd ask you about this. Do you know, I know that if you have private, here's what I know. If you have private health coverage and you go to a private hospital, you can have coverage, that you, you, you can have a private room. But with ISS, there's, there are no private rooms. That's true. It's, it's like you say, though. You know, it's like you say, because um, ISS hospitals, in my experiences with my family, with friends, you normally stay in a room with other, other persons, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, of course, depending what kind of illness is, you will go to a specific area, mm -hmm. you know, but never got a private room. Another important thing, in IESS, you can't stay like a family member or, or my wife mm -hmm. is in IESS, I can't stay there, right. you know. Right. With private uh, insurance, you can do it. Okay. You, you have a private room on the clinic, you can stay there with like sure. a family, you know. Sure. You can do that yeah. with private. Okay, the next question I have for you from the senior thrifter, are pre-existing conditions excluded on both private and public insurance? Are there any age exclusions? I think you've already answered the pre-existing conditions one, but the age exclusion is a good question. Are there any age exclusions between private and public insurance? Okay, regarding the age, no. The law changed probably seven or eight years ago in Ecuador. And I remember that the limit for private health insurance was 65 years old. Okay. Eight years ago, but now no limit age. The law determines that all the health insurance companies in Ecuador, if you go there to request a quote, they need to give you a quote. Okay. Of course, depending on your age, the premium can be sure. more higher, Go depending what yeah. kind of plan you are looking for too. Yeah. But they never will tell you, hey, you have uh, 85 or 90 years old, you, I can't give you a quote. Yeah. It's available, for sure, it's available. Okay. And with IESS, same thing, you okay. know, same thing. An important thing that I n not mentioned before is the waiting period under the IESS. You know, it's only three months okay. for everything, you know, everything. for pre-existing okay. conditions or any kind of medical, you know, that's important. That's interesting to know, yeah. Uh, here's, a good one. here's a good question for you. Boyd Jones wrote and said, what health insurance package or program do you recommend for a man in his 50s moving to Ecuador? 50s, okay. Well. Now it's time for you to be a salesman. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Uh, uh, let me tell you no, that. No, you're talking to Boyd now. <laughs> <laughs> in our agency, Don, in our agency, probably 85% of our clients are experts. Mm -hmm. And probably from those group of, of clients, 70% uh, has more than 50. Okay. You know, more than 50. They're more than 50 years yeah. old. Got it. What's the best way for people more than 50 years old or 50 years old people? Consider combine two, two insurance. Why? Because if you go directly to a $100,000 plan, your premium can be higher. Sure. But if you take a major medical plan, $5,000 deductible, and a smaller plan that will be my cap for the deductible $6,000 plan, you will save a lot of money. Okay. In my opinion, in my experience, the favorite way to be insured for people 50 or more is combine two plans. Then the smaller plan will pay for small emergencies, medicines, appointments, everything, you know, up to the deductible in the other one. And if something major happens, you have the major medical plan. Another important reason to combine is the pre-existing condition coverage. Why? Because this company will cover pre-existing and the other one too. Yeah. Then you will have two coverage for pre-conditions, okay. you know? Right. Best way, try to verify 
how combine plants. Okay. You know? All right. So the best thing for Boyd is when he gets here, be sure and come and talk to you. <laughs> yeah. And then you'll, It'll be work a good out, idea. you'll work out a plan for him. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, you think about it. I mean, that's kind of your job. Your job is to customize a plan for everybody, because everybody's life is different. Everybody's exactly situation exactly. is different. It's not like just picking up the phone and buying insurance. Yeah. They 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 need to, when they come here. They need to actually come and sit down and talk to you, like I'm doing right here, and. Get a plan, a customized plan, work uh -huh. out. And it's important, the preconditions. If you told me I have a important preconditions, mm -hmm. it's a good option, consider the ISS. But right. like a supplementary, and a supplementary plan too. Right, you know, right. Uh, That's what I can, I can tell you. And of course, right. we need to talk, like you say, with the client here or by Zoom. We have mm -hmm. many Zoom meetings oh, yeah. now, a Zoom, lot of yeah. Zoom meetings, you know. Yeah, I forgot we, all about that. Yeah. Sorry? I forgot all about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, after the COVID, yeah. many people is trying to do that. And we have uh, more more appointments by Zoom now than in person. Really? <laughs> <laughs> but both works, you know, Modern because technology. If, yeah. if, if your subscribers are in U.S., we can do a meeting. Sure. We can talk in, in person yeah. by, by Zoom, you know. That's good. Uh, I think what I'll do is when when we're done, when I get ready to publish this video, I'll put in the description, I'm going to obviously put all the information about Blue Box and you. I'll also mention Zoom meetings available, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, that's a good point. That's the first time I've actually heard anybody offer that, you know? Uh, okay, so Nelly asks, another one of my subscribers, do I need to upgrade and she put in parentheses the cost of health insurance to include coverage for pre prescribed medications. Coverage for prescribed medications. So, do you, does it cost? Well, in the first place, does does health insurance here in Ecuador cover medications? Obviously, they do, right? Yes. Private and ISS or just private? We'll, we'll cover medications, both, both, mm -hmm. private and, and ISS will cover medications. Mm -hmm. But like we talked before, medications under the ISS not are available okay. normally, you know, but the private insurance will cover medications. Okay. But we'll is there an additional cost for that though? No additional cost, but the most important is if, if you are taking already medications, that will be consider a precondition yeah. and then will be covered after the waiting period, you know, Got it. but no extra fee. No, the, the, the premium will be the same. Okay. The most important about medications will be when will be covered. Mm -hmm. But if it's a new diagnostic done and the people co go to see the doctor and the doctor give a new diagnostic, will be covered. The doctor okay. appointment, the medicine, the test, you know, everything will be covered. Okay. All right. A Facebook follower. Uh, Giacomo Vodopaski can foreigners who visit Ecuador every year and stay for less than six months get free government health care? No, because the IESS, to subscribe to IESS, you will need the cedula. That's yes. the only document that you will need. You right. know, if you not have a cedula, if you have only passport, mm -hmm. not possible to subscribe to IESS. Okay. But what's an option? by travel insurance with a local company with, in Ecuador. Why? Because the local company has his own network. When you buy insurance, travel insurance from other places, mm -hmm. probably you will need to pay up front or they have a smaller network. Then what we recommend to people that will come five months, six months, or visit Ecuador, buy travel insurance with a local company mm -hmm. because the agent can help you to deal here in Ecuador with any kind of medical need, you know? Okay. Okay, next question. Answer this. Can your doctor elaborate on private insurance such as cost, how to sign up, what it covers? You've pretty much covered a lot of that. As, as far as signing up for it, it's just a matter of coming here or having a Zoom meeting. Do you have to have a cedula to buy private insurance? No, no, okay. no, no. That's, that's also the reason why you can subscribe uh, health insurance from outside of Ecuador. Got it. Because yeah. you not have a cedula, but what do you will need? The passport. Right. With the passport, right. you can subscribe okay. to any kind of medical insurance. And then as far as costs are concerned, it, that's also going to depend on age. 
right? Normally, it only depends of age. Okay, but okay. we request uh, precondition information to our clients mm -hmm. to quote you yeah. because we like to give you our opinion about that. Yeah. You know, when you told me what kind of preconditions you have, mm -hmm. I will verify if the best way for you is to stay in the private insurance or recommend you use ISS yeah. because if you have a list of preconditions, depends of private insurance when you know that they have a limit in the coverage 8500 you will have only 8500 to control your preconditions if okay. you have a list it's better use <laughs> ISS yeah. and combine with a smaller plan yeah. you know yeah. that yeah. that's an option that was actually uh, this question here is is um, well actually that question was from Johnny Kuhn uh, who asked one of the earlier questions and i think we are out of Question. Nope, got one more question from <laughs> my viewers. There's actually three three questions. These are good questions too. This is from Maritza Procel. Okay, uh, I have three important questions to ask. Will you please ask these? Thank you for your support. Number one, does the health in health care insurance cover home care if you become disabled? Home care home if care. you need a, a, a nursing home. Yeah. Yes, it's available with some plans. Okay. You know, but not all. Plans. Not all the plans. Okay. It will depends what kind of plan you choose. So mm -hmm. Some companies, and we can offer a, an option that will include that, but of course, will be a little more expensive. Sure. But uh, when you think how frequently I will need a nursing home, you know, mm -hmm. because pay more, more uh, price, more premium for something that probably never will use it. Yeah. You know, Got it's it. important to consider. The other question that uh, was asked: Does the healthcare insurance? cover house calls because you know some doctors and we talked about this a lot with Dr. Garcia some doctors make house calls mm -hmm. uh, does health care insurance cover those house calls private health insurance some plans the same answer okay. that last question some plans will cover that other yeah. plans no yeah here's a good one all right does health care insurance cover or allow the use of CBD oil for epilepsy and other health issues Oh, good question. Yeah, that's a great question. <laughs> okay. Uh, the health insurance, the private health insurance companies will accept claims for alternative medicine. That's how they, they describe under the contract. Alternative treatments, you know, like acupuncture, natural medicine, you know, that kind of, yeah. of stuff will be covered. What's important to consider? First, the CBD need comes with a diagnostic from a doctor from a doctor recommendation and prescribed from a doctor important thing second important thing sometimes here in ecuador the cbd not has all the permissions to sell it you know okay. if the cbd not has the permissions the company not will pay okay. but if it's something that is approved for the government you know the company will agree to pay but with all this support you know a doctor recommends you you have a diagnostic sometimes cbd uh, can be authorized but like i told you with a doctor recommendation sure mm -hmm. okay that wraps up the question so i think the important thing for everybody to understand is when it comes to buying insurance that they really need to sit down and talk with a broker like you here at blue box and and just get the facts and and sit down and, and lay out, you know, I mean, do, do they, if, when somebody comes to here from the states and they want to come and talk to you about health insurance, do they need to bring their medical records to you? Well, not necessarily the medical record, but mm -hmm. try to remember your preconditions, you know, okay. the, pre, the, pre the pre-existing pre conditions, conditions because okay. you will explain me that we can think in what kind of treatment you will need if the coverage from private insurance is good coverage or if the best way is recommend you ISS, you sure. know. Uh, we try to advise all time, Don, and if I need to say, I need to tell a client, consider ISS, I never earn nothing from ISS, but we are advisors. I need to tell you which plan can work better for you, you know. That's important. Okay, so here's a question that I just thought of. Is there health care coverage that covers drug and alcohol addiction and treatment? Uh, well, no, no, no not is included in okay. the coverage, no. Exclusion, mental illness, 
sleep problems, vitamins, supplements, and addiction uh, okay. problems, you know? Okay. Yeah, that's important to consider. Yeah, that's, it's, it covers it in the United States. Yeah. I had a, a family member years ago that had some, some issues and uh, went through rehab and it was all covered by insurance. So, well, okay, well, good. I, mean, I think this has been great. You've asked a lot of questions. Now I've got one last question for you. People are going to come here to buy insurance and they're going to come to Blue Box Insurance. Yeah, right? <laughs> correct. Why? Why? <laughs> okay, done. Good question. Good question. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best well, question. <laughs> why? Why come to Carlo from here? Because first, I have 10 years experience. Yeah, probably nine years with the expat market. From the beginning, we focus in advice the expats. We know the market. We know the process. We have English speakers teams here in Manta, in Cuenca too, you know. Mm -hmm. When you talk about medical, it's better if you talk in, in, in English, sure. you know. Also, we know which doctors can recommend you that are English speakers. When you have a claim, we will communicate with you in English because it's totally different to the process here in Ecuador to submit a claim than in the United States, you know. And, and I know many people come here, buy insurance, and then when you have the first claim, you don't know what you need to do, you know. You can found, done, that's the main reason, you can found many insurance sellers, but not many insurance advisors. Okay. And I think in Blue Box, we are more advisors than sellers. Good. We create different kind of stuff like articles in high expert, sure. you know, that explain you how to submit claim, what happened with ISS, how to get the supplementary plan, why to do it. We focus in advice you. Good. The main reason is that because we will be your real advisors. Good. That's a good point. That's a good point. Thank you so much for your time. It's My been pleasure, a pleasure. Sir. Now I do have one more question. Of course. Tell me about this high expert magazine. <laughs> okay. High expert is a nice a project with one of my good friends here in Manta mm -hmm. is Marcos, Marcos Chiluisa, the Equasist owner. Mm -hmm. And we talked about uh, how to be in touch with the expert community, how to show to the expert community the different things that you need to know about Ecuador. And if you take a look, and I would like to invite to, to people to take a look to the High Expert magazine, we not have articles like trying to sell you something, you right. know. We have very informative articles and we try to show you Ecuador, you right. know. And we started that nice, nice project and we have um, a lot of people that wait our issues, you know, and following the high expert. It's a project because it's a way to say thanks to the expert community sure. with two companies that works a lot with expats, yeah. you know. Those two companies, has many, many expat clients, and we are trying to give something back to the expat community. And that's the reason why high expat, we say inspiring and informing expats. That's great. You yeah. know, and, and it's a good project. I, I love it, yeah. I love it. Yeah. Uh, in the description, I'm gonna put your name, your email address, if that's okay of with course. you, all your contact information. I'll My also put number. a link to the high expat Sounds magazine great. in the description. and. Uh, I have a copy, or I, I get it at home, or I get it, I have every issue at home, okay? Oh, great. And I'll do, I'll scan a cover and put a picture of it in the, the video, and uh, we'll try to uh, help you promote it, you know? Sounds so great, sounds great. I think it's a beautiful magazine. Thank you, Don. So far, everything in it is really good, good material. What, good what I can do also, I can send you the links for each issue. Okay. You can include it there. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. That would be great. Okay, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Don, and thank you to all your subscribers. If, if we can do something for, for your subscribers, I will do it. If you if you got more questions, it will be my pleasure to make another video. If you are interested in you know a little more about ISS, like I told you before, we never work with ISS, but I know how it works, how you will subscribe. We can do it. Sure. If you have more questions, my and pleasure. And people can sir. email you directly. And email me, work. request me an, an appointment by Zoom, like we say. I am available. Okay. All right. From Mount Ecuador, thanks for watching. Thank you. <laughs>
Hey babe. Oh, sorry. <laughs>